how you quite take a good photograph, I still don't know. That's why I'm still out there working every day, trying to find the old eternal secret. Sure, you can be a good photographer with a smartphone. I don't personally use them to photograph because I, I have to have a big file so I can blow up a print to over a metre long. But uh, you don't need a, a good camera these days. You just need a good story and have something to say. That's the only thing that's important in photography. I like vernacular photography because I like uh, the fact that it has a very pure motivation because someone's taking a picture to purely make a point rather than to try and take a, a good photograph. It's almost impossible to say really, but uh, there has to be some kind of point, there has to be some kind of contradiction, some ambiguity, and it would also have to have a strong design. It draws in the viewer, and then hopefully when they've digested it, they'll see something, it'll give them some room for thinking or some provocation. So there's a second layer. Now, Instagram is a very interesting new platform for photography. I was a bit slow to take it up. This is a very good way of uh, photographers launching their work into the world without having to go to a dealer or a publisher or a gallerist. It's a very democratic form of photography. People who are using these new platforms are looking for inspiration, which is why we still need the leading names of photography to show what's possible with a camera and with a story and your relationship to the world. No, they're all the same uh, methods of communication. The only thing that's important is what you're trying to say and how you say it, and to try and talk about the relationship to your subject uh, that you have. It should be unique, and it's really your selling point. <laughs>